Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this small video I'm going to show you how you can use a jQuery drag and drop functionality in your on your page. Okay? Now if you do want to go to the other route which is manually coding your drag and drop functionality using plain vanilla JavaScript then I will advise you not to do so because it is extremely hard. Okay? Uh, if you are interested in learning how to do that, there are articles on high on coding, which you can check it out, but it is too, too much code to write. And jQuery makes it very much easier. All right. So I have this page demo, and I have already coded some part of it. Uh, I have some classes, block, product code, list, and all that stuff. I also have a product list, so this will display the products on the page. Okay. And I also have a shopping cart which is basically a div. I have a local database over here which is myshop.mdf and it contains like products and the information about the products. So if I run this you will see something like this. Okay, Very simple. You have some items over here. You can see I cannot really drag and drop any item. Let's just consider that this yellow area or yellow rectangle is a shopping cart and I need to drag and drop these items. Okay couple of things you need to download. First of all, you should always download the jQuery library, okay, which is available from jQuery.com. I'm also using the jQuery user interface library, which is jQuery.ui. And it is inside the jQuery.ui library that will give you the functionality for the drag and drop. All right. So these are the items. And one thing to notice about these items is that all the items that are displayed in the inside the data list control are inside a div and the div class is block. Now this is very important because what we're going to do is we are going to tell jQuery that hey every item that is inside the block just make it draggable. Okay so let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is first of all just going to make sure that the document or the DOM is actually ready. And now at this point the DOM is ready and I can do anything that I want. Okay? So let's make the items draggable. So if I go over here and if I say over here oops block dot draggable. And that's all you need to say to make the items for the class. So each item having the class block will be draggable now. So let's go over here and refresh the page. So these are all the items that have the class uh, block. And you can actually see now I can actually move the items. Okay? I can move any of these items because each of these items have uh, the class block. But that is not really what I want. Most of the time you won't be moving the products just like this, right? Uh, consider these products as a showcase products, all right? So what you want to do is to move a clone of the product to the shopping cart. Well, this is very easy to do because of the uh, draggable options that it provides or type of filters. So I can simply say helper and I can specify the helper over here, which is clone. Okay, this is going to clone the elements when I try to drag them. So now let's say if I want to drag this particular thing, you can actually see that the original stays over there, but I'm dragging the uh, a copy of it or a clone of it. Okay. Now this area is a rectangle, the yellow rectangle. It's let's just say this is our shopping cart where the items will be dropped. So you we need to make it a uh, droppable zone okay so let's go over here and we have the id which is shopping cart on the div it's a normal div control is it the id or is it okay so that is the id so we're just going to say this dot droppable and i'm using a visual studio 2010 but of course you can do everything with uh, Visual Studio 2008. Okay, so there are a couple of options, a couple of things that you need to realize. The first thing is that what kind of items you can drop inside the drop zone or the shopping cart. Well, 
we are going to say that okay we can accept all the items that have the class block and you remember what uh, class block items are right they're all the items that are inside the data list controls which are basically the items you want to display on the page the next thing and this is the important one is the function the drop function or the drop event the drop event will be triggered whenever you drop the item over there okay so now let's say that you drop and you want to say alert or you want to say over here item dropped okay so let's go over there and refresh the page and we're going to say we're going to drop it and you can see that it says item dropped so basically that particular event is actually firing but we want to add the item okay so this is pretty easy to do I'm just going to say dropped item equal to uh, I can say UI dot draggable so this is the actually I the item that is being dragged I'm going to create a clone of it and then I am going to simply add the item or append the item to the control which is the our div shopping cart control okay and this is all I'm going to do so let's go ahead and drop the item you can actually see that the item actually persists over here I can add different items the class is overflow for this one overflow is auto so that that's why it's uh, uh, displaying a vertical scroll bar and you can actually see that you can add different items to it okay and see it's pretty easy to do this uh, like using jQuery it's very easy to make a drop and dra drag and drop functionality if you have chosen the route to do all the plumbing yourself I can uh, I can tell you it's extremely tough because you need to find out the coordinates you need to find out the events which is like on drop on drag and all those events you have to handle it it is possible but it's just too much work so that's pretty much it um, uh, in the later videos I'll show you how you can perform some sort of an Ajax action you can also perform um, counting the number of items that you've dropped but in the meanwhile if you're looking for help you know where to go right highoncoding.com and this is like the this uh, third article on the on the home page if I click on it you can download the source also from there which is uh, creating shopping cart using jQuery drag and drop part one and hey when you're there click on the like button so your other friends will also know that you're reading this cool article and it has all the code and everything that you need and um, you know you can download the code which is which is right over here and if you like this uh, video how about some donation you can always go to the donate page and donate a one-time donation a monthly donation which is like only two dollars monthly five dollars and ten dollars donation allows us to uh, write more articles actually to support the bandwidth and to produce or to buy kind of like better machines to produce these videos because each HD video takes a lot of time to decode so that's pretty much it if you like the article if you like the video press the like button so that your friends uh, will also read this uh, cool article about jQuery drag and drop and how simple it is to implement the drag and drop functionality using the jQuery API thank you very much